the Creation Museum just opened an exhibit in uh, late 2020, I believe, that uh, depicts Australopithecus afarensis, uh, Lucy, as uh, very ape-like and non-bipedal, which is a misrepresentation of what it was. And they misrepresent all of human evolution in an untold amount of money they've spent to make this exhibit. They call it a world-class exhibit, and I have to admit, it looks pretty good. But uh, that doesn't make it factual. And I think they know they're misrepresenting some things. I think it has to be deliberate. I don't think they're totally stupid. So this video will examine that, so stay tuned. A video right there. Have a look at the skulls over here. These are all from the human kind, because there's only one kind of human. It's called human. Uh, but these are different variations within the human kind, mm -hmm. based on real skulls. But have a look at those skulls, and you know what, Ben, as you look at them, they look human. Yes. And then let's come across here, as we scan around from those, and look at these skulls over here, and they look ape. You right. can easily tell the difference between an ape skull and a human skull. I mean... Well, the human kinds they show are actually Homo erectus and uh, Neanderthals. So, those are in fact different species, and they misrepresent that deliberately, saying they were the same kind. Even though genetics proves that Neanderthals were not human. When they, they would try to make Lucy more human-like. Hmm. What they do is, first of all, there are not very many bones for the hands and feet. Uh, in fact, uh, there's no foot bones. So, they always put human feet on Lucy. Um, the other thing that they do is they short... This argument is really dishonest, as there are m more than one fossil example of Australopithecus afarensis. There isn't just Lucy. There was uh, one recent finding in Ethiopia of a foot from the Australopithecus afarensis. And I'll link the... Uh, well, I won't link it, but I'll show the article. So they always put human feet on Lucy. Um, the other thing that they do is they shorten her arms and they lengthen her legs. You can see that there's m there are missing parts in so her, short her arms. arms because apes have long arms. If they shorten yeah. them, they're more like human arms. Yeah, to get the proportions just right, they will... This is also dishonest as other fossils have shown leg fragments and leg bones of the Australopithecus afarensis, just like their others have shown feet. So either they don't know this and they're completely ignorant, or they're lying. This is again from the original case that Doug kind of came up with the concept for um, dealing with how people represent artistically these, you know, taking it from uh, an initial form and then you can artistically represent um, what you're looking at based on your worldview. So you can see the different examples there. You see the, the skull at the top or the head is a neutral model. But then you can see the exact same model down below and different skin variation, different eye colors, different hair color. Yeah, well, many uh, museums don't depict Lucy as being human-like. She was a primitive species, though she was on the way to becoming a human in, in a sense. This just shows how dishonest the Creation Museum is. Always has been, but has become especially dishonest over the past few years, it seems like. They just intentionally misrepresent things, like on the Ark encounter and in the museum itself. This is their latest attempt at doing that, to confuse their uh, gullible audience.